This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I wish you a very blessed Easter season. This is a tremendous time of the year. There's new life, and that life is the life of our Lord Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit implanted in us. I'm Morris Vognes, Senior Pastor at Lutheran Church of the Master in Brooklyn Center, located in 69th and Humboldt. I'd like to invite you to services. Easter services are at 7.30, 9, and 10.30. If you are a member of another church, just want to encourage you to go there and, and receive what the Lord has for you today. One of the things that means so much to me in Easter is this, that the power that raised Jesus from the dead is a power that dwells in us. I think of years ago when I discovered this truth or was taught this truth and saw it in Ephesians chapter 1 where Paul was praying for Christians and he said, I pray for you continually in every prayer of mine with thanksgiving. And I pray that the eyes of your understanding of your heart will be opened up that you may see. And he mentions a number of things the uh, glorious inheritance that is in the saints, that is the believers, and uh, the hope that is ours. Then I like this, and that you may see the immeasurable greatness of his power in us who believe. And he goes on to say, it's that same power that raised Jesus from the dead, that raised him to be seated at the Father's right hand in the heavenly places, far above all power, rule, dominion, and authority in every name that is named. And he has put all things under Christ's feet made, and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body uh, that fills all and in all. What is he saying here? That great power, immeasurably great power, there's no instrument that can measure the great power that uh, raised Jesus from the dead. And that power is the person of the Holy Spirit. And that power is in us who believe. Other translations have it's for us who believe. In either case, it's in us and it's for us. And that power that raised Jesus from the dead, that raised him, ascended to heaven, where he is glorified at the right hand of the Father, that power that put him in a position far above every other rule, power, and dominion in the universe and in the heavenly and spiritual realm. That power is in us who believe. In Romans 8, he goes on to develop this uh, in a little different way and by mentioning that that spirit, the Holy Spirit, who is that power that raised Jesus from the dead, that dwells in us who are believers. And he puts it this way, you are controlled not by the sinful nature, but by the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of Christ dwells in you. And if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to Christ. But if Christ is in you, your body is dead because of sin, yet your spirit is alive because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who lives in you. Notice that he mentions here Christ in you. If you've received Christ and he dwells in you, do you know it's a spirit of Christ that is in you? And he says this is the spirit of God in you. This is the Holy Spirit in you, the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, yet one person, one God. And so what you have is the Spirit of God, Spirit of Christ, Christ himself, the Holy Spirit dwelling in you. And that power that of the Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, he says, will give life to your mortal body also through his spirit that dwells in you. Think of the tremendous power that's in you. 
but how little of that power that we use in our life. Many times it's because we don't realize this. We haven't been taught that. We don't, we don't know that uh, the Holy Spirit dwelling in us is that same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, and it's in them immeasurably great power. When my brother had colon cancer, three different persons gave him uh, Romans 8.11 that I quoted here as a verse for him. If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will give life to your mortal body also through his spirit that dwells in you. And my brother took that as a word from the Lord for him. He had surgery, half of his colon was removed, and so he says he now has a semicolon. <laughs> now, but uh, the, the God used the surgeon, God used medicine, God used prayers of healing, God used faith. And so he was completely healed. And that took place years and years ago. And he's living and going strong, uh, serving the Lord now, still serving as, uh, as a visitation pastor.